Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. A lot of episodes so far, about 60 odd isn't there? So anyway, let's get on. I've been very busy actually between episodes setting up some more AE2 automation with uh, Mindchem. So let's kind of look at what I've been doing because we want to extend that today. What I've basically been doing is basically adding more and more <laughs> machines as you may or may not notice like this and these I've been automating different things so the first thing here we are automating um, some phosphorus so we're getting phosphorus in here and that being should be come through here it won't, but it's on demand so we've got a recipe for phosphorus this one here is now giving us a recipe for aluminium phosphate which in turn will give us a recipe for certus quartz dust and now we need certus quartz dust for all sorts of a2 stuff. Now this one here, I seem to have an excess of hydrogen, and this is for meth methyl, methyl, or methyl, methion. I don't know how you pronounce it. So this is a part of a recipe, and the next one we've got here, we've got the methyl methyl cryate, which of course maybe you figured it out, will then give us polymethyl methyl cryate. I worked that one, isn't it? Which, of course, then gives us slime balls. So, basically, I've automated two more things that we need a lot of for A2 stuff. And these two machines are at the moment are free, they're not being used. So, what I'm doing today is we want to also come along here. There's nothing in this machine yet, and no recipes in there either. So, we'll do that. We're going to do that first. And we're going to extend this, carry on extending this down here until we've basically got everything we need. Now, this row here. Which you can't see. I haven't got anything in yet. Um, that's right, yes. That's deliberate. So all of these decomposers are all set up for fluids. And the idea is I'm going to decompose all the fluids. And I think in this chest here, I have got what I need to do that. So let's actually move these machines out of the way. Have we got enough space? Yes, I have. So we've got definitely, we've got basically nine different fluids of which we want to use eight for one thing. So let's just get these put into into these machines here. And what's going to happen here is we're going to start, I'm going to start here and put in the gold like that. Then move to the next one and put in silver. The next one, we did this before, but we're going to do lead, iron, Molten tin. Next one should be copper or something like that. Copper. And then aluminium. And then at the end of that, we're going to have shiny. We've got one more for machines, which we'll, we'll fill in as well. That's for nickel, which we don't need for this particular recipe, but not going to the right place. I want it to go here. Because I want to keep them in the same order as the actual ores. I sort them like this. So we'll just take the nickel and we'll just process the nickel as well. And the nickel goes into here. Oops, missed. I actually can't reach it. Let's try over here. That's it. Now I can reach this one. So I'll put the nickel in there. So then that's going to fill it with all nickel. Put the, put the um, pattern away so we don't need the pattern anymore. So, right, so all these machines now are filling up with different uh, metals, as you can see. So there may be the first one, the gold one's already finished. And it's full. Oh, actually, it's not full, because we've run out of gold, I reckon. So let's go and have a look what's happened to gold. In fact, the next one along silver, we should have plenty of silver. So this should fill itself up nicely. It has, yes, good. So basically I'm not processing enough gold ore, so let's just get some gold ore out of here. We've got we've got enough gold in here, but there's no more gold in the system. You'll see that gold has gone. Because I made so many gold um blocks before that's used all the gold up, so that's a bit bad. So what we can do for that is we can set that into here, I think. If I yes. Ah. An export bus, yeah, that'll do. 
we can export into here gold put those in there and they can start to make liquid gold molten gold for us so we can let this do its business and that should if I'm not mistaken we need to speed upgrade in there usually they do one speed upgrade yeah that's fine so that's now filling up and it's going to press us all the gold and make it liquid again wow so what I've got to do now is I want to do the, the same thing I've been doing just before but I'm going to do that one with you so what we need is a pattern well at least we've got a pattern in fact I can actually craft more patterns now so if I look for patterns I've actually got two more and I've got they're now craftable so I can say I make one of these I would make two and then it's going to tell me everything it's going to make so it's going to make certis quartz dust it's going to use pure certis quartz crystals and it's got a glass available it's got to craft some sort of quartz glass it's got some glowstone available and it's got some aluminium phosphate in order to make the, this one here so let's start that and it won't take too long and it'll come up and we'll get two more patterns so the first pattern we need to do is we need to make some gold so let's go and see what we've got in the system for gold I think I might not have any here oh, I have got plenty of gold in here that's good and we actually only want 16 so let's go and now that's going to make one ingot so what we're going to say in here the 16 gold it doesn't, matter, oops, it doesn't actually matter where we put them Ah, I'm in the wrong one. I'm in the crafting pattern. I need to be in the right, 16 gold will make one ingot like that as a process pattern. So that's the process pattern done. Now I've got some empty chemist journals here. I'm going to have to make some more in order to fill up the rest of those those machines. But I'll probably do that. Well, maybe I do it with you or not. So that's my general one. So basically, 16. I think just top left hand corner will make one gold as we see already so that's the right one in fact what I could have done which is what I should have done to put this chemist journal into here one of these and put gold in the ingot in there and then that'll tell me what it's going to make so when we then take this chem chemist journal out of here let's put it like that and then put it into this machine did that not work ah yes of course it did it worked I just didn't select I didn't select it Oops. Move that again. I didn't I forgot to select the recipe for some reason or other. So now we can put it in this machine here. And then you see top left will give us that. No problem whatsoever. So now we've got the two components we need to automate this. So let's go downstairs again. So in here we will put the recipe for golding it. And in here we'll put the recipe for the golding as well so now I can then craft gold ingots so let's go and test that I'm not got an, an an import node yet we need to put an import node on here and I always do this afterwards so let's have a look what have we got for gold in here I think we've got quite a bit of gold ingots 34 actually not too many but now I can craft another one let's craft 10 and it says I need 160 gold and it will make that start that and we should go downstairs now and we should be able to see in that machine we have got 160 gold coming in here which we have so 128 plus 32 I hope is 160 so all we need to do now to complete this process is to put uh, an import bus and I've got plenty of import buses I made some but I've got a recipe for those now like that and then these will disappear reasonably quickly and we shall get in the system another 10 gold let's go and have a look we've done this before but just to recap so we now have our 10 in fact I can put these put those back in the system there it doesn't make any difference so we have those so now if we go downstairs here what we didn't check of course is how is it's getting on with the, the decomposing of this so that's now full so those gold that we smelted before is now in the system and it's filled up everywhere so all these machines will be full with whatever mineral so now we can craft gold ingots silver ingots lead 
iron etc right the way down to we get to the end here shiny and nickel that's be nickel there they're all full up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on this process here adding more machines here and i'm going to do another nine for each of these recipes and then we've got here we've got another two spare that we can got we can synthesize other stuff and then we will be able to basically craft our stuff so what i'm going to do next because we also need to crafting patterns don't we and i've got i think i've got an emmy interface on me yes i've got five so i'll put one of these emmy interfaces on the top of this like this like, that'll do fine and then we can put into that another nine recipes which we're going to use to make blocks and then we can craft our blocks as well on demand when we want them in the meantime what we were doing last time we were actually making some of these i've got now a grand total of eight machine parts from 32. oh wow it's going to take a long time to get these out let's take those upstairs actually while we're, while we're here and we'll see if we can craft some more now there is a limitation but that's something that i've done and i think it's a reasonable limitation oops wrong place the other thing we did was set up a well i'd set up a corian it's in here isn't it so that's the machine parts so we're short of 17 dash and another 24 machine parts so let's actually see if we can craft some of these so if i craft basically what i want to craft is let me quickly calculate this i think it's nine times 64. let me just see what that is i think it's 100 576. so 576 well let's have a look at plates i've got 192 refined iron plates that's three stacks so let's craft 596, 576, sorry. Next. And we actually do have enough. So we'll start that going. And then those are going to come over in here and they're going to be processed in here. Like that. Now it is still set up for rolling. I do remember it being set up. So here we can put these three stacks of um, refined iron in here. Uh, we'll do, we'll just put it up like this and you'll see they're actually coming in and out of the same hopper doesn't matter very much we can cope with that and then we also want some what was the other thing we need silicon plates and we should have enough materials for that as well so let's look silicon oh, yes i can craft so i think we will craft 64 of these start that they'll craft very fast actually because they're just all that's doing is going through the yeah it's going through the synthesizer and it won't take too long so while that's processing i'm doing that let's just have a quick look at our quests so improvements is all completed take flight is what we're actually working on to some extent and elements so we're actually working on the mother of all hulls steel machine hull and in fact that is actually being one of the components and we'll get oh, lots of nice storage stuff there one of the nice components about this is we will get but sorry i better go back to the quest certain time and this one these tungsten platings which have got a lot to make now it was the gas i think one of these was the gas turbine controller yes it is so this is where we need our machine steel machine hull we've also got we've got enough we've got draconium we've got one block as a reward so we now need to make 32 enderium turbine rotors so each one of these requires 11 ingots of enderium now enderium requires one enderium blend which is maybe possible to craft it like this but i think we're going to go and do it i hope we're going to do it the mine the mine chem way so basically we need one ender pearl per enderium ingot and the rest of this shouldn't be too much of a problem platinum silver and tin so we have to decompose this and compose it to enderium fairly quickly 
I think we can do this and I think that's the way I'm going to do it but the problem is this blaze powder is no problem really redstone no problem coal dust pulverized coal no problem sulfur dust we're not going to get anywhere near enough of these so we need to basically go and get some more sulfur so what I was thinking about is this if I look at what we can do on Venus because we've not been to Venus yet we get some ores so one of the ores we get just Venus rock no use cobblestone no use in this pack anyway sulfur ore now that might be the one we need what have we got here uranium ore ruby ore crystal which we don't use in this pack there's no uses for tin ore which we can have copper ore and iron ore and coal ore now if we look at the uses of this we should be able to smelt it have I got the right one yes I have this is sulfur dust I suspect we can also put this through the mine can we can good and we get three sulfurs through this and if we look at that I think we should be able to use that one to make let's have a look it should be possible to synthesize 16 into one sulfur dust which we can use in the I think this will work well I'll double check it actually let's just have a look at the uses of that one and let's have a look it was it's actually crafting I think it's shapeless crafting and sure enough we can actually make pyrothium dust so I think this episode we're going to take a quick flight to Venus so let's get prepared for that I don't think I need much stuff from here let's stick it all up there I don't think I need that or that maybe I'll take some blocks with me and I do need my ender chest I think we'll just uh, we'll use this one so we've got everything we need we've got a quarry plus oh I haven't got a s ah I haven't got a solar panel it's night time I'm just gonna have a quick sleep because I want to go and get the solar panel we've got here because I'm not using the sol solar panel on this particular mine at the moment so let's quarry on the moment let's just go and pinch this one uh, and another another portal I would love to know where these portals are appearing from because that portal was definitely not here before let's go through it just for fun <laughs> so strange walking through a portal and you're not doing anything actually let's get a bit quicker I have got flight in this pack. I probably should bring with me the um, the, th the thing. Right, that's good. I could take this easily enough. See, it's not connected on this one. I'll take that with this as well. Whether I need to set this quarry going again, I'm not sure. But you can see down here, there's quite a few caves and st stuff. So what I was planning to do with this quarry, by the way, is when it's finished we can um, go down there and um, set up the the mob grinder that I've got at the top here maybe it will work a bit better down there because it then be quite low to the gravity and there won't be any too many mobs in the in the area so maybe that will be a good way I've got to find a way to get in and out of that though so what do I want I don't need that and I don't need that we'll take those with us what else have we got oxygen no problem we got our chemicals and we got some building blocks and the weapon shovel these are wearing out a bit but they're not too bad we'll probably be able to live with those okay oops too far so let's just make sure we've got a tank of oxygen Uh, why did I put that ender quarry? I didn't pick it, oh, I didn't pick it up yet, did I? So let's pick it up. Uh, ender chest, I mean. Also on Venus, there's going to be um, lava. 
and I haven't done anything with lava so far what do we need from in here I think that's possibly all we need we've got a spare tank in there I think that's it let's go let's go for it quick walk through the, the food supply oh there's this one here I could have used this one as well of course I've forgotten about this one to be honest with you let's put the rocket down here and let's have a look at it it's F isn't it fuel so that's filling up and when that's filled up we'll just go I don't know what we're going to find when we actually get there but uh, we'll see when we get there actually have I got everything I need I think so oh no I haven't I've forgotten one very 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 important thing so let's just oh maybe it's actually in the chest so let's just shift to get out of this thing let's go um, <laughs> of course I mean I'm in the strange mode at the moment that's like that F5 so I'll press F5 again so if I put the I think I put the ender chest I've just got to check it have I got the no I have not got the way I've got the waystone and the scrolls but I haven't got the way the waystone good thing I remember that otherwise it would be difficult to get home it might be possible but I don't know I don't know to be honest with you it might not be possible where have I put it here we are I'm just having a think is there anything else let's just take this builders one with us as well can't do any harm we don't need illumination one we've got the RR pickaxe it's actually strange that the RR pickaxe is not um, here we go let's dig this up does put down torches I wouldn't have expected that right we should be ready let's check the fuel that's full let's go makes a good noise you can hear it I think one of the few sounds you can hear in this game In Galactic Science 1 you could actually go to Mercury as well, but in Galactic Science 2 you can't. Now Mercury was a good source of gold, amongst other things. Now it's gone quiet as we hit... <laughs> but it's coming and going the sound, that's interesting. So I don't know what is going to happen when we actually get to... See we can get to Venus, we can't go to the asteroids, that's tier 3 can't go to Pluto that's tier 3 we can't go to Mercury it's, it's not available and Venus we can so Mars we've already been to so let's just launch our way down to that and see what happens right it's morning that's good so there won't be too many mobs around let's move forward a bit here I think if I press the W key it does actually move you forward a little bit well, I did, at least I didn't land in the uh, one of these dungeons. But there's a village over there. So let's get out of here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take... We've got some fuel in there. We won't waste that fuel. Let's put down our chest here. Because in this chest, I have got an empty fuel cell uh, canister. Let's right-click this and put the fuel canister in here. That takes the fuel out of it. We can also take this and the rocket... And then we can just bash the bash the fuel cell. So which is the best. There we go. I need to pick this up again. I want to set up this quarry fairly quickly. The gravity is here is much is much heavier, or well, heavier if that's the right word. It's much stronger gravity on Venus. You can't jump up, and as you can see. I think the maximum is about one block. What we'll do is we'll set up our quarry about here and we can use these buildings to to build a base. So let's set up the quarry first of all. Let's put the, the chest down here. 
There is one slight problem. I need another ender chest and I haven't got one with me. Never mind, once we've set everything up, we can actually start to go back. I'll come back and get it. Maybe I'll just use this one, actually. Hmm. Okay, so we don't need a very big quarry to start with. Let's just see what we need. I need the quarry out of here, of course. I need some markers and I need some... I don't really need the redstone torches, but they don't hurt. So what we'll do is we'll build it out. Let's put it out this way here. Put one marker down, put this down, and we'll go in this direction with about 32 blocks. So what are we? This is Z. So this is Z going down. Around about here we'll do, I think. Let's just pick up some of this rock here. And put it down. I think we'll just put it down here like this. One more, and then we just need to put the torch down. We don't need to, uh, the marker down. We don't need to put a torch down. And then we'll do the same thing in this direction. So this will be the Y. So we're up to around about 100 or thereabouts. Here we'll do. Okay, let's build this up. We're in the right place, I think we are. Oops, I need to jump on that, don't I? One more. That should be right. Now let's put the marker down here. Yep, that's it, spot on. there seem to be mobs around here now I can then remove this torch and right click this and that forms the square nicely so in front of that we now put the quarry like this and on the let's just take this with us let's put it on top for the time being I'm gonna have to come back it's a nuisance but it, give me some stuff we can collect like that so that will then put into here the three markers again good so what we need is a cell and this and i will also press f this time i'm going to press f9 make sure i'm not in a boundary i'm not in a boundary this time that's good oh <laughs> yes i am well done okay so we just do it this side so we put down that one and then we put on this that like that and then that should give this enough power Turn it off. Is it working? Yep, it's working. Look, filling that up nicely and starting to mine. So, this will mine and this will get full as you can see. We want the waystone and we want a return scroll. We don't need the return scroll to start with. We do need, yes we do actually. Let's go and build our little base over here. Let's see if these are actually buildings that we can actually block up. Well, that's interesting. It's a half a building. And I don't have enough materials to block that in completely. But maybe we don't need to worry about that. Can mobs get through? Can mobs get up here? No, I think that's too high. Good, we'll use this as a base then. So put that down there. To block any mob access and we'll just come down here i'll get some more actually we've got plenty of rock because we can't use it for anything else can we so let's put down the waystone here like that we'll call this some venus base Done. and then we right click it and then that's activated so now we can then select that from here, which is good. Um, and we can put down some torches. So let's make sure, let's press F4. And you can see it's dark. So let's just put some dark torches down here to lighten the place up a bit. So that we don't have any mob problems while we're here. And that should be all we need to do. So let's put down a piece of 
stone here, so let's put a bit. I haven't got any stone, but put this down here. It's a mint. So we've got a chance to see out. Right, that's it. I think this is working. I need to come back again. So let's go and select this now and select the moon base. We can actually get back to the Venus base very quickly using the return scroll. So let's press F4, turn that off again. So now we should have some materials in here. What I've got to do, yeah, you'll see I've got lots of materials in here. Subsurface rock, they have no uses at all. Any of these, these materials have no uses. That's good to tell, as far as I can see. They'll just accept for filling this up. So what we can do, which are, well, I think I'll do straight away. And until I've got the next ender chest, which I, which I should have taken with me, I did completely forget about that. We need some. Let's have a look. Headstone duct, hardened fluid duct, item duct. We just need a piece of item duct. And we'll double check this as well. So all we need to do is to set on to this the item duct. Actually, let's put it here. And then we can put onto this here, we can put the filter. The sh oh, I need a server. Let's go and get a server. We can get a fast server, actually. I've got a reinforced server. That'll be fine, I hope. We'll see. And then we can say if we filter this. So we want to basically have a whitelist of Venus surface rock and Venus subsurface rock. And there should be Venus cobblestone as well. We haven't got any of that yet. So we then just all have to do is put down the, the trash can here. Like, I think it'll connect up if I put it here. Try again. Oops. Ah, yes, I have to be on here. Let me double check the uses of these, by the way, before I actually throw them all away. Crafting recipe, assembly table, enchantments. There is no other uses for that. Um, and I think, I'm pretty certain it's the same for all of these three. This one can go to st Vernstone, but there's no uses for Vernstone either, as far as I can see. This one here has got... They've none of them have got any uses. So I might as well just throw everything straight away. So let's put this down here like that. And then everything else, these should start to come out of there. I need to turn it on, don't I? Let's just turn that on. Activate. There we go. And that should just start to, you won't see it going in, but we can get rid of all of this. Have to be a bit careful, of course. So what we are left with in here, we've got some Venus cobblestone now. So we can put that in the, into the filter as well. It's purely decorative stuff. We don't have no other uses for it. So that should empty out. And when it's finished, we'll get some other stuff in here. So we can at least see what we've got. I think that'll do. Let me just uh, move this hammer here and then move these chemicals there so we don't see this stuff too much and that's actually i think that's going at the same speed as this which is great i could put in the rocket again i think i'll leave the rocket downstairs so i reckon that's my half an hour done i hope you've enjoyed this episode we're making progress reasonably fast and between now and the next episode I'm going to finish off that automation for the ingots downstairs. We'll also start, next time we'll do some automation of blocks. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now.